Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now I'm going to talk about my interview experience with DoorDash. For those who don't know, DoorDash is a pretty popular food delivery app in North America and some parts of Europe. And I interviewed with them during the peak of the COVID. So somewhere around like mid 2021, uh, the golden age for IT hiring because all the companies were hiring like crazy. And just during that time, DoorDash recruiter actually reached out to me over LinkedIn and asked me that, hey, we have this pretty cool role for senior software developer at DoorDash and we are trying to expand our team and headcount and whatnot. So are you interested in interviewing with us and I was like yeah for sure DoorDash uh, was progressing quite well, quite significantly around that time so I was keen for the interview in total with DoorDash I did three rounds of interviews and the position was senior software developer now in the final result I did not get a job from DoorDash but that's understandable however I gained some real valid insights into their interview process and plus it was a very good experience for me to interview with like such a nice company so I would walk you through the whole process now first round of interview was just a standard phone call with the recruiter so I wouldn't even call it like a proper full-on interview experience it was just a 15 minute phone call we just discuss about normal things like what the role is what my experience is what they are looking for what i'm looking for is there a common match uh, what is my long-term vision what is my work status and whatnot so it all worked out after that i had second round of interview with the hiring manager and that was sort of to shortlist the candidate for their actual technical rounds and during that uh, interview call with the hiring manager it was around 45 minute phone call where hiring manager first of all walked me through the what the team is doing what the product they are handling uh, what kind of things they are looking for what they are working on so sort of like technical and cultural discussion next the hiring manager asked me a bunch of questions about my experience and also there were some behavioral interview type of questions like uh, if you had to explain a scenario where you might have disagreement with a team member or if you have what uh, give me an example about the time where you had to initiate something from the scratch and stuff like that so I was able to answer them in relatively simple fashion Fashion. then the hiring manager also asked me some uh, system design type of questions but not exactly like complete system design interview question it was more like a common uh, I would say architectural discussion about different concepts and how different things can be done wh where what kind of tool or database would I use why would I do that so it was just a very light-hearted conversation but uh, overall more driven towards I would say behavioral and system design kind of sense so after the discussion with hiring manager I think hiring manager liked me and I also sort of got the idea that I would be invited for the next round of interview so next round of interview was going to be one hour technical interview and uh, for this one hour technical interview they were only going to ask just one question so which they already explained it to me which very rare companies do I don't know why they let me know that but that one question was going to be kind of tri tricky so I got that idea now uh, during the technical interview because it was peak of covid it was definitely a virtual uh, telephonic interview where they had the coder pad set up for us to run over the and do the technical session and they asked me some question related to intervals on how different interval works and uh, if let's assume that the incoming data is coming in some json format now you realize that that json format is no longer feasible and it's not very efficient to query over for that elastic search kind of problem so now we need to change that incoming json uh, data format into something else and once we have that change data format then we need to iterate over that data in order to create bunch of different different intervals for that starting and ending period so it was like a pretty broad complex kind of problem where there were a lot of parts so number one part was that you need to take care of the incoming json request then you need to query over that parse that json and then uh, iterate over then convert that incoming data into a different format after com converting into a different format you would need to create like a whole range of intervals from starting point to the ending point and then you also need to take care of uh, uh, different days depending on the months or the years uh, because some months have 30 days some months have 31 days some months have 28 days some months have 29 days uh, leap years non leap years uh, so all of that logic you have to incorporate on top of it you need to make sure that the query data is quite efficient so 
it looked kind of a small problem, but it turned out to be like quite a big jumbled up problem with a lot of moving parts. So I was able to conceptually explain the whole thing, how it would work, what would be the approach, how would we uh, convert the data, how would we store it, how where would we store the whole uh, sequence of different intervals, what would be a good choice of uh, database in that or data structure in that scenario and stuff like that. But overall, once again, as you all know, like my biggest weakness, coding was the one that hurt me the most and I was not able to complete the whole thing. And uh, in the end, after the interview, like the interviewer was nice that uh, despite the interview being only for one hour, the interviewer asked me that we spend about like one hour and 15 minutes on the interview just in case if I could solve the, the whole problem. I was able to solve the whole problem on my iPad and explain them and walk walk the interviewer throughout the whole solution, but I was not able to code it in the coder pad and I think which turned out to be the bane in that scenario. But overall, uh, after that interview, I was not selected for the final round. Uh, if I had, the final round was going to be like a two hour back to back interviews where first interview was going to be like a complete discussion on system design. So like a system design in, in, uh, interview and the last round would have been like a conversation with that director level or a, a one level above the hiring manager. So that would be more like a behavioral and culture fit kind of the scenario. And if all went well, then I might have received an offer, but I failed in that technical interview. I was not able to solve it. Now, in my opinion, I would have to say that their interview process was quite streamlined. They have some of the most hardworking recruiters that I came across because they were always there asking any of the question I had. Uh, they would reach out to me. They would let me know even before interviews, they would give me a call saying that, hey, you need to prepare for this or this is what you need to do. These are the strategies. Uh, th maybe this could be something that that could be helpful to you. So it was all in all, it was a good experience. I gained some uh, insights into how the company operates. And yeah, uh, yeah, basically I did not get the job, but overall this was my experience with interviewing with DoorDash. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? I don't want to disclose the exact uh, thing or the exact questions being asked by a hiring manager or what type of system design interview question was asked or what type of uh, technical interview was asked because I would feel that that would uh, that would not be a good thing to do but overall if I had to apply again with DoorDash my interview preparation would be that I would focus more on the coding part and also some more on the system design part but that that is the only advice I can give you and if you can if you can get a job at DoorDash congratulations it's it's a very good company to work for uh, so till then take care